You come to a big event like this with thousands and thousands of RVs and so much traffic, and it's hard to know if you've got limited time, where the best sites are, what you should really see, where you should go in the community, and what time and transportation to get over to the balloon field. We have that all handled. We feel lucky to be here. It's just a great experience, and it's been like a no-brainer to have the schedule that you've given us say, oh, be here for the evening glow, be here for the launch in the morning. If you want to see the dawn patrol go up, yes. here's when to go and how to get there. Having so many meals provided and so much service provided, so much of the logistics taken care of has made it much more like that, much easier to focus on being on vacation. It, it is a vacation. That's what they're here for. They didn't come here to cook a lot in their RV and to take care of all the logistics that go with it. We've got it all handled for them. It seems like there's an awful lot of people who are interested in coming to the Fiesta, so there's a lot of demand. Yes, there is. Getting tickets is a challenge. Yes, oh, definitely. And real challenge is getting an RV spot. So. Right, there's a limited number. Yes, there is. OK. Yeah, definitely. So the easiest way to do it is with an RV group. And so that means you can book in advance with the RV group right. and ensure that you're going to have a slot. Correct, years in advance. But those those spots, a lot of them are boondocking, dry camping spots, correct? Yes, they are. Um, I would say the majority of them are boondocking. We've got 100 sites with generator power with 30 amp. We also provide um, dump service and water service once during their stay also. We take care of it all. I can tell you know where to go because you've set up here in this tent and where we're all camped here in a place where all the balloons were landing. Yes, they come right overhead and they'll land sometimes right outside the hospitality tent and we see the chase crew and it's just so exciting to be up and close and have that hands-on almost experience. When it rains here, the balloons don't fly, and the guests love getting out of their RVs and coming in and playing cards, and we do spontaneous socials and, and games. So it's just a great gathering event here. And our, our guests tell us it's one of the, other than the balloons, it's one of their favorite parts of, of going with a, a group here at the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. Fantasy RV Tours, for your RV trip of a lifetime.